Have you ever found yourself transported back to the world of 1930s cinema, where mystery and science fiction intermingle? If so, Dr. X, the 1932 movie directed by Michael Curtis, is likely etched in your memory. But out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this film? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about Dr. X. This pre-code horror film was a pioneer in the genre, known for its eerie atmosphere and gruesome subject matter. It stars Lionel Atwell as Dr. Xavier, a brilliant scientist, and Faye Ray as the brave reporter who investigates a series of grisly murders. With its blend of mystery and horror, Dr. X keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Notably, the film introduced two groundbreaking technologies, two strip technicolor, and a process called natural vision, which attempted to create a 3D-like effect without the need for special glasses. These innovations were quite daring for the time. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We look forward to hearing your stories. Share your thoughts and connect with fellow fans who've also been captivated by the enigmatic world of Dr. X. Dr. X is a 1932 pre-code horror film directed by Michael Curtis, known for its contribution to the early horror genre. The film's plot revolves around a series of gruesome murders committed under the light of a full moon striking fear into the hearts of New York City. Dr. Xavier, an enigmatic and eccentric scientist, is suspected of being the murderer due to his strange and unsettling experiments. In a unique twist, the film incorporates early two-color technicolor for its horror sequences, adding a distinctive visual style to the eerie atmosphere. As the investigation unfolds, viewers are kept on the edge of their seats, exploring themes of scientific curiosity and the duality of human nature. Dr. X had a lasting impact on the horror genre, influencing subsequent films, and leaving a mark with its iconic mad scientist character and atmospheric cinematography. This classic horror film remains an essential piece of cinematic history, conjuring chills even today, all thanks to its innovation and mastery of suspense, making it a cult favorite for fans of vintage horror. Warner Bros. paid $5,000 for the rights to the play Dr. X to bring it to the big screen in 1932. This film marked an important milestone in the career of actor Lionel Atwell, as it was his first major film. Notably, the scene on the beach in the movie was filmed at Laguna Beach. Dr. X is a classic horror film from the early 1930s, known for its intriguing storyline and atmospheric settings. The story revolves around a mad scientist who is suspected of committing a series of gruesome murders. To prove his innocence, he invites a group of colleagues to his secluded mansion for an experiment. The film combines elements of horror, mystery, and science fiction to create a unique and suspenseful atmosphere. With a budget of $134,000, Dr. X was a significant production for its time, and it was well received by both audiences and critics. The movie's success helped establish Lionel Atwill as a prominent figure in the horror film genre, a status he would maintain throughout his career. In conclusion, Dr. X is a notable film from 1932, based on a play for which Warner Bros. acquired the rights for $5,000. It marked a crucial moment in Lionel Atwell's career as his first major film, and the beach scene was filmed at Laguna Beach, adding to the movie's eerie ambience. The film is a classic in the horror genre and continues to be remembered as an important work from the early days of cinema. The 1932 movie Dr. X is notable for the contrasting versions in which it was distributed. The black and white version was shown in smaller markets, while the more expensive Technicolor prints were reserved for larger cities. Interestingly, Warner Brothers defied Technicolor's directive and filmed a black and white version alongside the Technicolor one. These two versions feature distinct camera angles, with the Technicolor version prioritizing the best compositions in certain scenes. One such example is the House of Prostitution scene and the sequence in the skeleton room, showcasing the differences between the two versions. In addition to its technical aspects, Dr. X also features a captivating narrative. The film's villain is known as the Moon Killer, and there are allusions to a series of cannibalistic Moon Killer murders. These references bear a striking resemblance to the real-life crimes of Albert Fish, also known as the Moon Maniac whose cannibalistic spree occurred from 1924 to 1932, coinciding with the movie's release. 
Dr. X is a film that stands out not only for its dual distribution, but also for its eerie and suspenseful storyline, which keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. It's a classic example of early horror cinema that continues to intrigue and captivate audiences. Dr. X is a 1932 movie that was often shown in black and white during subsequent screenings at movie theaters. The film features New York waterfront scenes that were filmed on the set of the 1926 movie Twinkledoes. The set was originally created to resemble London's Limehouse District. The movie was based on a play of the same title, which opened on Broadway in 1931 and had 80 performances at the Hudson Theatre in New York City. These facts provide insight into the film's presentation and its connection to both New York and a Broadway play. Dr. X from 1932 is known for being the second film at Warner Bros. to be shot with the improved Technicolor 2 strip process 3 following Manhattan Parade. This upgrade resulted in better color and clarity, but the format was abandoned by Warner Bros. and other studios due to its high cost and lackluster box office performance. For a long time, the original Technicolor version of the film was considered lost. However, it was ultimately discovered in the private collection of Warner Bros. Studio head Jack L. Warner after his death in 1978. The UCLA archives restored this version, allowing audiences to once again experience the film in its original color. Michael Curtis, the director of Dr. X, is famously quoted as saying, This will make your blood curl. This statement reflects the film's ability to captivate and shock its audience with its thrilling and mysterious storyline. In conclusion, Dr. X is a notable film from 1932, remembered for its use of Technicolor and its eventual rediscovery in its original form. It remains a classic in the history of horror cinema. In the 1932 movie Dr. X, a peculiar connection to music emerged when the main character jokingly called the cat house piano player Ratchmaninoff and inquired about the prelude. Surprisingly, the piano player responded with a flawless rendition of Ratchmaninoff's famous prelude in C-sharp minor opus. Three no, two. This unexpected musical interlude added an interesting twist to the film. Directed by Michael Curtis, who had some distinctive tactics, it's worth noting that Fay Ray, one of the stars, later remarked on his habit of intimidating actors during production. Curtis employed a similar approach in his later work, Mystery of the Wax Museum, which also featured Ray. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a unique glimpse into the making of Dr. X and the director's unconventional methods. It's also worth mentioning that the movie inspired Jeff Martin of the band Racer X to write the song Dr. X, with the lyrics containing a clue referencing Fay Ray and the moon. This connection to music highlights the film's lasting impact on popular culture. Dr. X is a classic example of early horror cinema, and these facts provide a fascinating look at its production and its influence on music. It's a film that continues to be remembered for its unique elements, both on and off the screen. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the enigmatic 1932 movie, Dr. X, we invite you to delve into the recesses of your memories and emotions to reflect on the profound impact this classic has had on your cinematic voyage. This film, a pioneer of its time, stirred the imagination of audiences across generations with its eerie ambience, spine-tingling suspense, and groundbreaking early two-color Technicolor. Consider the first time you watched it, perhaps the dimly lit room, the flicker of the black and white images on the screen, the tension building as the mystery unfolded. Did it send shivers down your spine? Or maybe you remember a particular scene, an actor's performance, or a line of dialogue that has stayed with you through the years. Dr. X is more than just a movie, it's a time capsule, preserving the essence of a bygone era. In its own way, it asks us to peer into our own lives and ponder how our world has evolved since the film's creation. What aspects of the story or characters resonate with you on a personal level? Does the film's timeless allure continue to captivate you? We would be delighted to hear your cherished memories, reflections, or insights about Dr. X. Share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, or how this film has left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Your unique perspective adds a vibrant layer to the tapestry of this classic. Thank you for joining us on this voyage into the world of Dr. X. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and your connection to this film is a testament to its enduring legacy.
So please share your thoughts and memories, and let's keep the spirit of Dr. X alive for generations to come. Warmly, 